OK, so let's say I want to write down the sum of the first four terms of un equals 3n plus 2. So this is a position to term rule, an nth term. So I can easily find the first four terms. The sum means I want to add them all together. So first things first, let's find out what these four terms are. So u1 is when n is 1. So 3 lots of 1 plus 2, so we have 5. So u2 is equal to 3 lots of 2 plus 2, which is 8. And by this point, you might be going, well, actually, I'm just going to be adding on 3 each time. So u3 will be 11, and u4 will be 14. OK? So here are the first four terms of this sequence. Now, the sum is adding them all together. So 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14. OK? Now, 14 and 11 is 25, so we have 30, 38. OK? So 38 is the sum of the first four terms of that sequence. Now, because this is a bit of a, a wordy uh, sentence to have, and because we'd like to be able to shorten it a great deal, we want to introduce at this point uh, some formal notation that allows us to shorthand write down precisely what is happening here. Okay, And what we do is we use uh, sigma notation, as I've written up there. It's using a capital sigma, which is a Greek letter, and it looks like this. Okay, Now, there are a few different ways of uh, writing it, but that's the uh, most general way of doing it. And what this sigma does is it tells us, it's an instruction to tell us to add up all of the bits that appear here. Now, what goes here is the nth term of the sequence, which we know is the 3n plus 2. So we say, right, so I want to add up all the 3n plus 2s, but I need to have a little bit more instruction there. I need to know that I'm looking for the first four terms here. So what I do is I say, right, I'm going to start from n is 1, OK, from the first term, and add them all together up until I reach the fourth term, and I just write the number 4 at the top. Now, if I'd written that as 2, OK, that would be saying add up all of the terms from the second term to the fourth term. So that would have just been 8 plus 11 plus 14. This doesn't mean start at 2 and find me the next four terms. It doesn't mean that. Okay? It means from n is 2 up to n is 4. So it would be better, really, if our notation said that, really. Okay? That would make a little bit more sense to us. But part of being lazy, I guess, <laughs> We're not, we don't write that n equals in there. But we just take it to mean from the first term up to the fourth term. So this is equal to 38. OK? And this is what we're being asked to do. Substitute in n is 1, n is 2, n is 3, n is 4, and then add them all together.